Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's Tuesday, and that means I'm here with my new weekly picks. This time for week 16. But to recap week 15, which was crazy because going into week 15, we thought it was going to be a 16 game week. But it wasn't. It was a 14-game week because the NFL moved two of its games to after Monday night. So, what I'm doing is I'm counting a 14-game week in week 15 and an 18-game week in week 16. And so, for the 14 games through the end of Monday night, the Bears game against the Vikings, the last game that I'm counting as week 15, even though the NFL is going to count the two games on Tuesday as week 50, end of week 15, I'm counting the end of week 15 for Sportsman as Monday night. And on that, I went nine and five, baby, nine and five. And I'm 135 and 87 on the season. And so, yes, very good. Stay above 60%. Loving it. But let's get into the week 16 picks because that's what you really want to hear. So, anyway, let's get into the games. As I said, we have a lot to get into because... Last week was supposed to be 16 games. Turned out to only be 14 games because two of the 16 games were moved to Tuesday. And I made those picks last week. However, one of them is going to be a change. I'm going to do these without the helmets because I've already got the helmet matchups in front of me. So we're not going to do that. But uh, last week, uh, you recall I said Washington football team over the Eagles, with the Eagles at home, I'm changing that. I'm going with the Eagles at home over the Washington football team in the Tuesday night game. This is going up on Tuesday morning, so that game will be tonight. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to pay for changing my pick. And then the second pick is the Rams at home over the Seattle Seahawks. That was the way I picked it last week. I'm going to stick with that. Lord knows I'll probably be 0-2 on those picks because the one I stuck with, I shouldn't have stuck with, and the one that I changed, I shouldn't have changed. That's just how life is. But that brings us to the real Week 16 picks. And that will start with the Thursday, December 23rd, two days before Christmas game, between San Francisco and Tennessee. And in this game, yeah, I'm going to go with San Francisco. For those of you that don't know, San Francisco broke the, um, they broke the string last week. I actually picked them to win, and they did win. And I'm going to pick them again to beat Tennessee because Tennessee is... I don't know what's going on there. I mean, they're losing to teams they should not, they should not lose to. And I, frankly, I don't know how good they really are. I have no idea. But San Francisco is kind of hot. I'm going to ride the hot hand. Their coach is um, Shanahan. He seems to know what he's doing. So let's go with San Francisco. Now, there are two games on Saturday, December uh, 25th, Christmas Day, the Scrooge Games. And the first of that is going to be, I am taking, the Packers are at home against Cleveland. So who would you take? Yeah. We're going to go with the Green Bay Packers over Cleveland. No way. Cleveland is beat up. Rodgers is as good as he's ever been. The Packers are as good as they've ever been. Now, the second game on Christmas is going to be um, the Colts are going to the desert to take on the Cardinals. Now, you remember last week, 
the Cardinals somehow lost to the Lions. The Colts beat the Patriots, and they are on some kind of a roll. I mean, they are rolling, and I think they're going to keep rolling. I'm going to take the uh, Indianapolis Colts to beat Arizona in the desert. That takes us to the Sunday, December 26th, the day after Christmas, Boxing Day in Canada. Um, and uh, the first of those games, you got the Bears going to Seattle to play the Seattle Seahawks and the 12th man. And surprisingly, I'm going to go with the Bears in this one. Yes, take the Bears that awesome juggernaut, the Chicago Bears. Somehow, for some reason, I'm just thinking they're going to win. I don't know what it is, but I just think they're going to win. The next one you got is the Falcons are at home against the Lions. Now, yes, the Lions had an impressive win over the Cardinals. Not only did the Cardinals, I mean, they shut the Cardinals offense down. And offensively, they played well. But no, we're still going to go with the Falcons. I mean, it's not like the Falcons are a good team, but I'm still going to go with the Falcons. Uh, the next game we have is the Eagles are at home taking on the Giants. Yeah, let's go with the Eagles. I'm going to take the Eagles in this one. Although the Giants apparently have Jake Fromm from the University of Georgia. And they've had him all this time. This entire year they've had him. And they're going with Daniel Jones? I mean, I don't, the decision making there is kind of questionable. But anyway, uh, you know, now the Giants season is, it's in, it's in a shambles. And uh, the uh, Eagles are playing for a potential playoff appearance. So I expect them to take advantage of it and beat the Giants. The next one you got, the, um, the Jets are at home against the Jaguars. Somehow I thought this game already happened, although, you know, there's a lot of crappy, crappy teams out there playing this year. The Jets are just one of them. The Jags are just one of them. The Texans are another of them. So I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a different matchup. But in this one, even though the Jets are at home, and even though I've thought that if they got a hair up their butt, they could actually play well, I'm still going to go with the Jaguars. I'm going to take the Jaguars to beat the Jets in the Meadowlands. Don't ask why. Yours is not to question why. It's not even for me to question why. So uh, the next one we have is the Bucks are going to Carolina. Now, you remember that the Buccaneers got shut out by the Saints. That was a shocker. That was just one of the shockers. I mean, the Lions game was the shocker of the century. But that was a pretty big shocker in itself. But I'm still going to go with Brady and the Saints over Carolina. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina unless you play in the NFL for the Carolina Panthers. Then there's a lot that could be finer. The next one we have is the uh, Texans are at home against the Chargers. Yeah, I don't know what kind of... Um, degree you need to say that the Chargers are going to beat the Texans. That should definitely happen unless we have another Lions type game on our hands, which hopefully doesn't happen because <laughs> I can't afford too many more of those. The next one we have is the Patriots are at home in the Bills matchup. You saw this one a couple of weeks ago only in Buffalo when Buffalo lost to the Patriots who only passed like three times. Mac Jones just had to pass it three times. I could have been the quarterback that game. So uh, we're, and this time it's in New England. So yeah, we're just gonna go with New England. Even though they did lose to the Colts, the Colts are just some kind of on fire machine. 
that you know was not going to lose to anybody, and that's why I picked them, and that's why they won. The next one we have is the um, Vikings are at home against the Rams. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Rams in this game over the Vikings. I think the Vikings, whatever like magic they had, and let's be honest, with a like 500-ish record, they had really not a lot of magic. But they lost a lot of games by less than a point. They were ahead in almost every game they played this year. But no, no, no. We're still going to go with the Rams and Stafford, even though he's been having a questionable, questionable season himself. The next one we have is the Bengals are at home against the Ravens. Now, you know what? I'm going with the Bengals. I'm going for the with the Bengals for a lot of reasons. I think the Bengals are learning as they go, and they're getting better now a little bit. They're learning how to win, and the Ravens seem to be losing or learning how to lose by going for two point conversions and um, fourth and ones and fourth and twos late in the game, early in the game, middle of the game. Doesn't matter. They always go for it because Harbaugh is a nutcase. And he just follows analytics right off a cliff. Him and the uh, the Chargers coach. But, uh, you know, I digress. They have a good record. So it's working. But it hasn't been working recently. They, I mean, the Ravens have lost, like, their last three games. By a combined point total of, like, four points in those three games. Because Harbaugh decided to go for two-point conversions. I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, he's going to do that again. The Bengals are going to know that he's going to do it again. They're going to be practicing against two-point conversion plays. Uh, they'll be ready for it. So, yeah, let's go with the Bengals in that one. The next one you have is the Vegas Raiders are at home against the Broncos. I'm going to go with the Broncos, even though uh, Bridgewater may be out for the season. We don't know. But really, the Broncos are not a team that depends on their quarterback. They're a team that depends on their defense, which is good and has played very well, and their running game, which is fairly good. And the Raiders, I think, are just kind of falling off a cliff ever since they lost their uh, head coach Gruden to that uh, controversy with him and his emails. It's just been a mess of a season for them. So take the Broncos in that one. Next one we got, uh, this shouldn't be a shocker. You got the Chiefs at home against the Steelers. The Steelers are a team that they're really playing over their heads. Like way over their heads. But they're not going to be able to beat the Chiefs in uh, Arrowhead or whatever the name of the stadium is now, whatever they call it, it's in Kansas City, and that's where the Kansas City Chiefs call home, and they're going to beat the Steelers there. Next one you got, Cowboys are at home against the Washington football team, and I'm going to go with the Cowboys, even though the Cowboys continue to look unimpressive. They uh, Defensively, they, they continue to look okay, but you know, I mean, last week they played the Giants. Me and a couple of my best friends could look good against the Giants. And that brings us to the Monday, December 27th. This is two days after Christmas, one day after Boxing Day in Canada. You have the Saints at home against the Dolphins. This one, who knows? Who knows who wins this game? But I'm just going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say the Saints will do it. Look at that Saints helmet. Memorize it. I think they're going to win. I mean, they shut out the Buccaneers. 9 nothing. Who saw that one coming? So, uh, those are my picks. What do you guys think? You can leave a, a little uh, comment below. Let me know which ones you differed with me on. You can leave a link to your videos. I'll watch your videos. Or you can leave the long list that you got of all the games that you think, uh, you know, list all the games and let me know who you think is going to win. 
Let's get a little conversation going. It's late in the season. We got the playoffs are coming right down the pike. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.